I have the new glowing Siri, Apple Intelligence on my phone. And if you want to experience this, I'll show you exactly how to do that in this video. Hey guys, this is Cyrus. You're watching Fiber by India today, and I have access to the new Siri on my phone and some of the new cool features that you can experience with the new iOS 18.1 developer beta that is number six. So all of the features that have come in on the phone, I'll show you exactly what they are in this video. So let's get started. So let me be very clear, these are the features that I'm experiencing on the iOS 18.1 Beta 6, which is the developer version, which basically is for testing out and seeing some of the bugs on iOS. The final version will be released somewhere around October 28th, which will give you a quick look at what Apple intelligence brings to your iPhone. So you'll have to wait for that, but I've got an experience because I've been using the developer beta. In order for you to experience the developer beta, you will have to register with Apple developer beta program and then register your device. After which you will start receiving these developer beta updates on your software updates panel. But let me make it very clear that the developer beta usually has these bugs and some crashes and some inconvenience could be caused when people are using these. So fair warning, if you're installing this, back up your data and make sure that you are mentally ready to experience the developer version of iOS 18.1 because you might encounter some bugs. All right, so once the registration is done, make sure that you have enough space on your phone because the 18.1 beta 6 is around seven to seven and a half GB. So it will require some storage space. So make sure you have enough space on your iPhone. Next up, what I experienced is that the developer version is talking further, which means that Apple is ready to release the final version of iOS 18.1. This is an indication that Apple is right at the end of the testing phase of iOS 18.1 and you will see Apple intelligence come into the final version so soon. So yeah, really excited. All right, let's move to some of the new features of iOS 18.1 Apple intelligence features. And I just love the new look of Siri. Apple intelligence really looks cool when you activated the glowing, uh, uh, you know, borders around your phone screen. It just you know, makes you feel that, wow, okay, this is something that I would really want to see again and again. And the new Siri is intuitive. I was interacting with it for some of my application for some of the creativity, and it seems that it has been able to respond appropriately. Yes some of the responses are not fine-tuned. I think Apple is still working on some of these responses and features, which I think will get better eventually. So I tried asking Siri to create an image or show me a particular image and it is showing me it on the phone on half of the screen. However, some of the images have been taken off of the website. I saw some of my images that I had made on the phone screen. So yes, I think the refinement is required. But when you're asking Siri to create images, uh, those features are not there yet. I think those will come in later when we see more applications being developed for the platform. Also, uh, summary notes and more writing tools have been embedded into the notes app into the third party application. Basically, if you have a whole paragraph, you can ask a Siri to summarize it in points. So I think these are some of the new AI features that have come in into uh, Siri. There were also times when I was asking Siri for some suggestions in terms of website references. So when I ask Siri to open a particular website, it doesn't do that. It, however, gives you references to those websites on the screen. So you, you can basically tap and go to that particular section or that website. So, so I still think there are refinements that are required, but the initial look and feel I think is pretty intuitive. I've been able to use Siri better compared to how the last version was. All right, so these writing tools have now come into uh, email messenger. Basically, it gives you an option to help AI write what you want to express. And there is the new Apple intelligence logo within notes, which can help you summarize some text, which can also give you these uh, multiple writing tools options, which are supported by Apple intelligence. So here are some of the new ways you can take down notes, you can summarize notes, you can get them into organized points. I think these are cool features that AI can help you basically plan things better or summarize things better. And I think it just gives you more ways to be creative. Yes, these uh, writing tools will come into other third party applications where you write text or summarize and those features will be rolled out slowly and steadily. But right now, notes, messengers and native 
iOS applications are offering support for this. There is also the sleep apnea function that I have uh, with the iOS 18.1 Beta 6. However, I have not been able to use it because it's not available in India. Just a fair warning, if you want to use some of these features on your phone, Apple intelligence features, you'll have to set the language to US English. If it's set to India English, it will not work. You will have to set it to US English. Then only you will be able to experience Apple intelligence and all of those these cool new features. Apart from these uh, few features, there is also the new notifications that have come in. The notification customization, basically you get to see how many notifications a particular, uh, for example, a person on WhatsApp has sent to you. So there is a number now that you see right adjacent to the picture. So it's a cool new feature and uh, iOS is trying to customize or basically stack your notifications in a more organized manner. I think it's cool and something that will help you manage your notifications. In, in iOS in you know your overall experience. Apart from this, some minor customizations in terms of the control panel, you get to have more features, more icons. I use the measure feature, which is something new that I saw. I can drag it and put it on my control panel for easy access. So subtle additions are being made to iOS 18.1 with the beta I have seen, and these will be coming to you in the final version. So yes, some of these features will be coming to users across the globe, iPhone users around the 28th of October, and I'm sure you are excited to experience Apple intelligence in all its glory. I think it's cool. I think it's one of the coolest things that Apple has done in a while, and I'm sure you are going to enjoy it. So that's it for this video. Do hope you liked it. Let us know in the comment section what you think about Apple intelligence and all of its features. I'll be back very soon on Fiber. So stay tuned for all of the updates on tech and also iOS. Take care.